This is the Airbus A321LR, the result of strategic foresight and innovation by Airbus to meet the growing demand for efficient, long-range narrow-body aircraft. Designed for efficiency and extraordinary range, it boasts a top speed of Mach 0.82 and can fly non-stop over a distance of 4,000 nautical miles or 7,400 kilometers, making it the longest-range narrow-body aircraft in the world until Airbus's own A321XLR. In the early 2010s, Airbus saw a growing market for transatlantic travel and other long-haul routes where wide-body aircraft weren't fully necessary due to, to lower demand or airport constraints. At the same time, airlines sought to maximize efficiency and profitability by deploying more economical aircraft with sufficient range. This led Airbus to develop the A321LR, an enhanced variant of the A321neo designed specifically for long-range operations. After rigorous flight testing and certification, the plane conducted its maiden flight on January 31, 2018, and gained certification from the EASA and the FAA later that year, paving the way for commercial operations. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A321LR. Stepping inside, the A321LR shares the standard A320 family fuselage cross-section, offering a cabin width of 12 feet 1.7 inches or 3.70 meters. This dimension supports a six abreast seating arrangement in economy class, with a typical seat width ranging from 17 to 18 inches or 43 to 45 centimeters, depending on the airline's specific configuration. The cabin height is seven feet 4.6 inches or 2.25 meters, which is comparable to wide body aircraft and contributes to a spacious feel. The fuselage's circular cross section optimizes structural integrity while maximizing interior space, which provides more headroom at the aisle and window seats than older models with a more oblong shape, which makes a tangible difference in comfort during long haul operations. The A321LR is highly versatile, allowing airlines to configure the cabin to match their service profile. The aircraft can accommodate up to 244 passengers in an all economy layout but more common configurations seat between 170 and 220 passengers. A typical two-class configuration might feature 16 to 34 business class seats with their remaining in economy. In premium cabins, airlines often adopt a 2-2 layout with lie flat seats, whereas economy typically retains the standard 3-3 configuration. Some airlines might also offer a premium economy section with extra legroom and enhanced amenities. Overhead bins are a highlight, particularly of the airspace cabin introduced by Airbus. These bins are 40% larger than those on older A320 models, capable of accommodating standard size roller bags in an upright position. The bins are also designed with ergonomic latches and soft close features. Seat dimensions and pitch vary significantly depending on airline configurations. In economy, the standard seat width is 17 to 18 inches or 43 to 45 centimeters with a pitch of 28 to 32 inches or 70 to 80 centimeters. Many airlines opt for slim line seats to maximize passenger capacity, which while efficient, can sometimes compromise comfort on longer flights. However, some operators recognizing the plane's long haul potential offer enhanced seating with better padding, adjustable headrests and additional legroom particularly in premium economy sections. In business class, seats typically range from 20 to 22 inches or 50 to 55 centimeters wide with a pitch of 38 to 42 inches or 95 to 105 centimeters for recliners or up to 78 inches or 195 centimeters in a lie flat configuration. Given the plane's role in transatlantic and other long haul routes, many airlines equip the aircraft with full flat seats in a 2-2 or staggered 2-2 slash 1-1 layout offering a competitive product compared to wide-body jets. The A321LR is outfitted with state-of-the-art in-flight entertainment and connectivity options. Most carriers provide seat-back screens across all classes, with high-definition displays, responsive touch controls, and extensive media libraries, while business-class passengers enjoy larger screens and even wireless charging ports. For connectivity, the plane supports Wi-Fi throughout the cabin, with speeds sufficient for streaming and web browsing, thanks to advancements in satellite-based systems. And some airlines also offer in-seat power outlets and USB ports. 
Airbus's airspace cabin lighting is a key feature, offering customizable LED lighting scenarios designed to reduce jet lag. The lighting system can simulate different times of day, aiding in the transition across time zones. Dynamic lighting is used during boarding, meal service, and sleep periods, depending on the phase of flight. The A321LR benefits from super quiet engines, which reduce cabin noise significantly compared to previous generations. Sound levels in the cabin are noticeably lower, especially during cruise, with less intrusive engine noise and minimal vibration. And enhanced insulation materials in the fuselage also contribute to a quieter environment. The plane uses advanced cabin pressurization systems that maintain an effective cabin altitude of around 6,000 to 8,000 feet, depending on the cruising altitude. This, combined with HEPA filtration systems, ensures a constant supply of fresh air every two to three minutes. The air circulation system also minimizes temperature variations, maintaining a consistent and comfortable climate throughout the cabin. Lavatories vary by airline configuration, but generally follow the design principles set forth by Airbus for the SpaceFlex lavatories, which are compact but efficiently designed. The SpaceFlex module allows for additional seating in the rear by repositioning the lavatories and galleys, though this can sometimes result in tighter spaces. In some configurations, especially in premium cabins, lavatories are more spacious and feature enhanced amenities like touchless controls and mood lighting. Now let's step into the cockpit. The A321LR maintains Airbus's signature commonality across the A320 family, ensuring that pilots trained on an A320 series aircraft can transition seamlessly to another. The flight deck features five large LCD displays, two PFDs, two NDs, and a single MFD for systems monitoring, which replace the older CRT displays found in earlier A320 models. The side stick control, an Airbus hallmark, frees up space in front of the pilots and allows for a clear, unobstructed view of the displays. The side stick is linked to the fly-by wire system, providing tactile feedback to the pilot while also incorporating protections that prevent excessive maneuvering. The A321LR is equipped with the latest Thales and Rockwell Collins avionics systems, designed to enhance situational awareness, reduce pilot workload, and improve operational efficiency. The flight management system is an advanced, fully integrated system that supports complex flight planning and performance management. The FMS integrates inputs from the GPS, ARS, and radio navigation systems, providing the aircraft's precise position, velocity, and altitude at all times. The dual FMS setup ensures redundancy, which is critical for long-range operations. The autopilot system is capable of handling the aircraft through all phases of flight, including autoland operations in low visibility conditions, or category three. The autothrust system, which manages engine power settings automatically based on the flight phase, is closely integrated with the autopilot, allowing for smooth and efficient climbs, descents, and cruise. The EFIS presents critical flight data on high resolution displays. Pilots can customize these displays to show the most relevant information for the phase of flight, such as route data, weather radar, terrain awareness, and traffic information. The system's intuitive interface allows pilots to quickly switch between modes, improving response times in dynamic environments. Navigation and communication systems include dual GNSS receivers, enabling highly accurate position determination. The aircraft also includes an enhanced TAWS and TCAS that provide alerts and guidance to avoid potential conflicts. Communication systems include dual VHF radios, HF radios, and SATCOM for long-range voice and data link communications, ensuring continuous connectivity with ATC even over remote regions. The weather radar is equipped with predictive wind shear detection and turbulence detection capabilities. The radar can depict weather phenomena up to 320 nautical miles or 600 kilometers ahead of the aircraft, allowing for early decision-making and route adjustments to avoid severe weather. The radar display is overlaid on the ND, providing pilots with a comprehensive view of both the weather and their flight path. The fly-by-wire system is a core component of the avionics suite, representing one of Airbus's most significant contributions to modern aviation. The FBW system replaces conventional mechanical controls with electronic signals transmitted via wires, 
which not only reduces the weight and complexity of the control systems, but also enables advanced flight envelope protections that prevent the aircraft from exceeding its structural and aerodynamic limits. The FBW system offers various protection modes, including load factor limitation to prevent excessive G-forces during maneuvers, pitch and roll protections to limit extreme angles, and high and low speed protections that automatically adjust control inputs to prevent stalls or overspeeds. Additionally, the system includes alpha protection and floor, which prevents the aircraft from exceeding the critical angle of attack, thereby avoiding aerodynamic stalls. These protections are always active, contributing to the A320 series excellent safety record. Additionally, the FBW system allows for precise control inputs and smoother handling, which is particularly beneficial during long haul operations where fatigue management is critical. Though not standard across all operators, the A321LR can be equipped with an enhanced flight vision system and a heads-up display, particularly useful in low visibility operations. The EFVS uses infrared and other sensors to provide a clear view of the environment ahead, which is then projected onto the HUD. The HUD overlays critical flight information onto a transparent screen in the pilot's line of sight, allowing for heads-up operations during approaches and landings. The avionics suite includes a centralized maintenance system that continuously monitors aircraft systems and components. The CMS provides real-time data on system status, alerts the crew to any anomalies, and assists in fault isolation and troubleshooting. The A321LR is equipped with advanced data link capabilities, including CPDLC and ADSB in and out. CPDLC allows pilots and air traffic controllers to communicate via text messages, reducing voice communication workload and increasing efficiency, particularly in congested airspace, while ADSB provides real-time tracking of the plane's position to both ATC and other aircraft, enhancing situational awareness and enabling more efficient flight operations. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. Airlines have the choice between two high-bypass turbofan engine options, the CFM International Leap 1A or the Pratt & Whitney PW1100G. Each engine is designed to deliver improved fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and lower noise levels compared to earlier engine models. The CFM Leap 1A has a bypass ratio of around 11 to 1 and generates up to 33,000 pounds force of thrust, employing composite fan blades and fan casings to reduce weight. It features a high-pressure compressor with a three-dimensional aerodynamic design and ceramic matrix composites to optimize performance and durability. The Pratt & Whitney PW1100G, also known as the geared turbo fan, has a gearbox between the fan and the low-pressure compressor and turbine. This design allows each stage to operate at optimal speeds, providing an even higher bypass ratio of 12 to 1 and generating up to 33,000 pounds force of thrust. Both engines are equipped with Full Authority Digital Engine Control, or FADEC, to deliver precise management and optimize fuel consumption. The aircraft requires around 6,800 feet or 2,070 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum takeoff weight of 214,000 pounds or 97,000 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 56,200 pounds or 25,500 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,500 feet per minute or 760 meters and a ceiling of 39,800 feet or 12,130 meters. The plane has a maximum speed of Mach 0 0.82 or 473 knots, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0 0.78 or 450 knots, a maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles, which is 4,600 miles or 7,400 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of around 5,900 feet or 1,800 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus A321LR is $130 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.